I just want to go to bed and maybe read something and that's it I have no plans I wanted to edit one more vlog but I won't do that today I won't we're both here so I started two books at the same time I want to finish this one um, it's about emotions but more how to read emotions I hope it will help me identify emotions on myself but it's not for that and this is a belletristics I don't know the um, original title Iopian Sweeney if you know I absolutely like it. It's a debut book. Let me see if I can find the original title. Okay, the original title is, among other things, I've taken up smoking. And this is how actually the book begins. We shall see. I believe it's fucked up. I have this sense that it's pretty fucked up but I love fucked up books I love books and art and everything that makes me feel something and this book definitely made me feel something so I want to tell you a story <laughs> wait <laughs> wait wait mm. Let me tell you a story. <laughs> oh my god. So let me tell you a story. About how to fail. <laughs> With your planning. Because I haven't read like anything. <laughs> it's already 9.18pm. But I'm telling you what I have done. I practiced some of my Italian. I've studied Italian for 11 years. And I've lost so much just because uh, I didn't use the language and I don't really hear it. Like I hear English all the time, but not so much uh, Italian. So I'm using Duolingo for this uh, purpose. Certo, certo. I don't know what to say. <laughs> non lo so che dire. And uh, next I was... Uh, Mm, I did some French also. Je parle français? No, je ne parle français, but I am trying. <laughs> uh, this is what I've learned today. Like, pour le français? Pour le anglais? Je ne parle français? Je m'appelle Andrea? Tu t'appelles? Paul? <laughs> Comment t'appelles-tu? This is how, what I learned today. It's very, very basic. I didn't study any French, but it is a Latin language and I can learn very fast Latin language because Romanian, it is a Latin language. And next, I am trying to learn Hebrew and I'm now learning the letters and sounds uh, how you write them and uh, the sounds that you make with them like ta, ti, ga gi you know, stuff like that I'm, I'm, I'm trying that ma, mi, mi, ma yeah, it's very fun uh, and um, I have to go and like recover my Norwegian uh, sessions because I've lost so much. I don't think I've practiced uh, Norwegian in over a year now. So yeah, I was trying to learn also Norwegian. Like, I'm a sucker for foreign languages. Right now, let's say I speak and understand 
quite well. English, Italian and Spanish. Hola, ¿qué tal? Um, but mm, I, I can't speak that well because I haven't practiced. And I can read, I can understand in the movies also. Um, I can write, but I can't talk that well, if that makes sense. Maybe these recordings also help me to put my thoughts into English, into uh, a full sentence in English. Because I um, sometimes I think in English, like when I'm around the house and everything, I, I think in English sometimes. I don't know why I'm doing that. Maybe... Maybe I just want to practice, or maybe because I watch videos in English, like everything is in English, of all of the social media is English, and even in Romania we speak like Rom English or something like that, which is a combination between English and Romanian. So maybe that's why I have this habit of thinking in English, and sometimes I'm dreaming in English, I don't know. <laughs> I, I like to learn new languages. I love to learn foreign languages. And this is uh, what I'm working on right now. I wanted to practice a little bit of Spanish too on Duolingo and a little bit of Norwegian. But I'm too tired and I was trying to concentrate on the Hebrew and I was like, I can't make these noises anymore. I can't. I can't. I think that's it for tonight. Uh, I failed <laughs> on every plan I made for today. I managed, though, I managed. I managed to go to therapy, which is a great plus. But other than that, I haven't reported my plant, my poor, poor plant that is like dying on the floor. And I hope I will do that tomorrow. <laughs> and I shall see. Because I want to sleep in like a half an hour. Uh, but I want to try to read some pages. Just to go uh, further with uh, my reading. I feel like today I'm even more wasted than yesterday. And I forgot to remove my makeup. Oh my god. I'm a rag today. Oh! I don't want to get up. I don't want to get up. <laughs> I should work today. Hello, baby. I'm just so, so lazy right now. I don't want to wake up. And I have a pimple. <laughs> of course, I didn't remove my makeup. I look terrible this morning. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. This evening, I will go to the theater with some friends. It's um, a charity event. And I forgot... I forgot for what charity. It is, but it's based on donations. I'd really like to see um, the play. I love these artistic events uh, with um, artists fighting for a noble cause or something. But uh, yeah, right now I'm in the bathroom, so can I say you Bucharest? I don't have hot water, like, it, and the water I have, it is so cold that my fingers will fall. <laughs> Municipality. <laughs> oh my god. This is a very, very um, common issue here. No water no hot water and maybe no heat during the winter.
This is just ridiculous. Ridiculous, I'm telling you. Ridiculous. I will try to take this shit off out of my face. And by the way, speaking of sustainability, I use these reusable cotton pads. Pads? Are they called pads? And to be honest, right now I have a plastic bottle. It's a layer water and it's in plastic, but I, I've discovered a, an oil like juice cleanse facial cleansing oil which is really really great and it is in glass and um, metal but it is way more expensive and right now i can't afford to buy it so i am going to do what i'm going to do i bought this it's a lot of product in there and I just use this. I'm sorry for the nature, but you know, things got shit expensive, man. Like with the same money a few years ago, just a few years ago, even in the pandemic, like 2020, I could still do stuff with this money. But right now it's shit. You don't do anything. Of course, in my business, I was forced to price the prices. And I'm not sure it's enough. Like, people won't buy it. It's just shit. Okay, I took out my pimple. <laughs> I couldn't resist. Oh my god, this water is. Um, I don't want to brush my teeth. I don't know how to say this, but I don't want to brush my teeth. I don't know why I filmed this, to be honest. Mm, oh my god, the cream. I forgot the cream. So I have this cream with uh, antibiotics. Evatherm. It's actually a Romanian brand. And it's the most effective thing. Mm -hmm. So basically this is my morning care, a lot of creams lately, <laughs> over 30, <laughs> I have uh, eye cream, uh, okay, let's do this in the camera and not in the mirror, right? And of course, they tricked me into buy the serum, <laughs> oh my god. It works amazing though. <laughs> it is just a few drops. It works amazing. Actually, and then the face cream. The face cream. Okay. Mm, that's quite enough. Bibi, da bibi. Acum, acum a vine mama, ci să te mâncare. Da, mâncăm acum. Everything should go up. <laughs> up, up. I think I'm ready for the day. And I think I'm ready to feed my cat and myself. This is fun. <laughs> Vlogging is fun. What? It won't be this fun. Uh, the editing. The editing is not that fun. Can we skip to the good part? 
Well, this is the good part. This day is shit. Can I say that again? Because outside is very, very gloomy. I don't have hot water. I can't shower. I can't do dishes. And I hope I will be able to somehow prepare food. I just uh, took care of uh, Big's litter. And I was thinking, I barely afford my cat. I barely afford my cat. And people with kind of the same income, kind of, have kids. How do you do that? My cat, like, doesn't eat like a kid. Like, it's a lot less. Um, doesn't go out, doesn't need clothes. And uh, for sure doesn't go to school. And I can barely afford my cat. And people are having kids. On this economy how do you do it people how do you do it what do you eat i'm not even like, like a, it's not judgmental i'm just wondering how do you do it how do you live right now i'm back in my bed with uh, my coffee next to me because i just want to read for uh, an hour or so and then maybe my coffee will kick in and I will be able to work a little bit. I want to make some um, shorts for my business, my partridge paper art business. And of course, I want to schedule the shorts I already have on TikTok <clears throat> and schedule them on my other YouTube channel. And of course, I'll have to schedule the shorts I made for my travel page. They are all on um, Instagram and TikTok and also on Facebook, but there um, is none on YouTube and I want to do that also. It's a lot of work to uh, manage three, three different projects with three to four um, social media pages. Not to mention that I do have a blog and I haven't write in there in a very long time. I guess it was a pandemic, so it's almost three years since I last wrote something. And not to mention that I wanted this free, like free uh, days when I'm not going to <clears throat> the radio station I want to practice my voice and right now my voice is crap. I want to listen to the recordings uh, at the radio um, just to figure out what I'm doing wrong. A lot of work for a free day. It's not a free day. Yesterday it was. So I have three free days <laughs> to figure this out. And of course I want to make some new art piece. pieces. Piece, pieces? I don't know depending on how um, inspired I am. But I for sure I want to do something with Pedro Pascal because like he broke the internet in two. I have some friends, two of my friends are texting me daily, memes, interviews, whatever, um, with Pedro Pascal. So I have to do <laughs> something about it. I'm going to do something about it and I believe I won't be mistaken to make them um, some artwork with Pedro and give them. It can be a very good uh, <clears throat> and very nice present, why not? And it must be funny. I will think of something funny. <laughs> yeah, so right now <clears throat> I'm going to read because last night I uh, did anything else but reading. I feel like crap. I didn't have hot water the whole day and I have an hour to get myself ready. <sighs> Look at this. And maybe it looks 
kind of good, but it stinks. It's it's the second day without clean without hot water, and I would just wash myself at the essentials for the past two days. I can't do this anymore. Like <laughs> I'm happy that I don't have to go to work like this, but. I have to attend a play, a theater play, and it is depressing. I, I'm i still in PGs. It's 4.20 almost p.m. and I'm still in PGs. I didn't left the bed. Now I want to eat something and get ready, but I fucking stink and I look awful. So this is my life. Raw, unfiltered. Forty five minutes to get ready, <sighs> and I don't want to leave the house like this. I don't want to leave it. I am back. This is as ready as I could get, and I must say that. <laughs> Well, I've spent a lot this evening. It was a charity play for for a children's hospital. They were gathering money for some new device for Oncologic uh, hosp Children's Hospital. And the play was just absolutely amazing. The actors were uh, students uh, in second um year and they were fantastic like i i absolutely love them and it is it was actually their first show ever and it was amazing and it was so sarcastic the theme was technology and it was about five people who made a reservation and paid like 50 euros or so to get the chance to be the first ones to try the new uh, technological toilets and stuff like that. Really, really sarcastic on um, technology and influencing area and stuff like that. I, I absolutely loved it. And those uh, students played marvelous and i've spent a lot it was 50 lei uh, like donation minimum donation it was 50 lei which is like 10 dollars or so 10 dollars 10 euros anyway and i wanted to give a uh, hundred lei more which is another 20 bucks so i've spent 30 bu bucks for the tickets and in your country might not be that expensive, but in my country, <laughs> I like it's big food for a month, my food for a week or something like that. But I am glad I did, and I. Sh it's a charity event. It was a charity event, so that means no one gets paid. Which I find a uh, down thing. Um, I d disagree with this stuff. Like you should pay yourself first and then um, uh, make at least something. Like not the full amount, not the whole salary or, or anything. But you should take something for your work. Don't work for free. Uh, and those kids, uh, kids uh, worked for free. Maybe, maybe they managed to gather like enough money to pay themselves but i truly don't believe that because uh, we were like a hundred people and half of us uh were like colleagues so students and of some sort i don't think they would give extra to be honest because here in bucharest like 50 lei it's quite a lot it's it's a lot. I've overspent this evening, but I um, I managed to get my hands on some money, so I am paying forward. You know, for everything 
I receive, I am paying forward. And because I know, no, you know, I have this feeling that no matter what I do, money comes back to me in some form. I don't know how it happens. Maybe it's luck. Maybe, I don't know. But I have this feeling and I try not to worry. Of, of course, I worry a lot about money, about future and everything. But somehow money found their own back to me. Like literally, I, I found money on the street. Um, I remember of um, lending someone money and I never received them back. And I, I, I found them like the same amount on the street. I'm, I shouldn't worry. I shouldn't worry. Money comes back to me.